Hello and welcome back to Shanti Finance. Today's video is for oil pastels and I will be sharing with you five reasons, the top five reasons why I choose to work with oil pastels along with demonstrating how I painted this painting of Frida Kahlo in pop art style with oil pastels. Yes, it is an oil pastel painting done in a pop art style and all the materials and everything are listed in the description below so take a look at it if you uh, care to know what I have been using and if you like this video please give me a thumbs up and don't feel free to share it with your friends if you feel like and uh, do not forget to subscribe and hit the bell so that you get a notification every Wednesday and Friday when I post my new videos thank you for watching as I start off the painting, you can see that uh, there is a little bit of uh, teal-like color already in the background of the drawn portrait. And uh, that is some acrylic paint that was left behind on my palette from a different painting. So I thought why not put it on the background and have a go at it because that actually works for pastel. For pastels, you cannot put any other medium on top of oil pastels, but you can definitely um, start off with watercolor or acrylic paint uh, as a base and then put your oil pastels on top of it. So yes, that works for oil pastels. With that, let me talk a little bit about this particular portrait. As I mentioned, I decided to do this portrait in a pop art style. If you have been following me on my videos or any other social media platform, you would have noticed that I generally work in realism and definitely for my portraits, which is something very close to my heart, I always choose realism to work with. Now for this particular portrait for Frida, the first thing that was on my mind when I decided to do it, that it should be colorful. because all the different images that you see of Frida, of course the color one everywhere she chooses uh, clothes hair flowers in her hair and everything depicts a lot of color and that has a very special significance in my mind Frida is not only very important and inspiring as an artist to me but also her life is very inspiring she is one of the people who shows us that life can throw a lot of curveballs to you. It can give you a lot of illnesses, pain, and how you direct those curveballs, those uh, negativities in a positive direction, how she channelized her pain and her illnesses into such wonderful paintings is very inspiring. And all her paintings are so colorful that obviously when I thought of doing a pastel portrait of Frida, I thought it has to be very colorful. And so I thought pop art style would be best for this purpose. And especially with oil pastels, having this vibrancy of colors would be great. So that's what is all about this particular portrait. Now let me talk about what I just promised that I'll talk about the first are the top five tips or top five reasons why I love oil pastels. I wanted to share those with you. So the very first thing is vibrancy. Oil pastels are awesome when you want vibrant colors. Now being used to working predominantly in oil paintings uh, with oil paints and acrylic paints, I like a lot of vibrancy in my paintings or artworks and oil pastel renders that supremely the colors are bright and beautiful and you can get really really bold colors and even the pastel shades uh, the milder earthy tones are just so vibrant in general that that is the best thing about oil pastels in my opinion Secondly, the versatility is so predominant. Now, whatever kind of artwork you want to choose, like in this uh, particular painting, I'm choosing to do a pop art style. If you want to do that, that oil pastels work great. If you want to work in realism, oil pastels work great. Now, some people will say that you cannot get fine details in oil pastels. I 
strongly disagree with that i will link um, an oil a portrait done in oil pastels a video of that in the video description below if you check it out you will see that if i have painted eyelashes and intricate jewelry and everything in that portrait and oil pastels work great so if you want to work in impressionism pop art style abstract no matter what realism whatever is your style oil pastels are very versatile and work for each and every style of work if you want a very muted works it will work if you want very dominant colorful works that will work as well so love the versatility of oil pastels and that is my number two reason why i love oil pastels third is the ease of use oil pastels are used or can be rather used by anybody and everybody it is a fine art medium unlike a lot of people think that it is only meant for children no oil pastels were created by Sennelier because Picasso wanted something like that to work with so it has a history and yes fine art can definitely be created with oil pastels and so it is meant for artists for making archival artwork as well as it can be used by children when they are just starting off that's why I'm saying that it is easy to use I do use sometimes solvents like paint thinners uh, to blend but you that is not definitely not a necessary thing you can blend oil pastels perfectly without any solvents or anything so you do not have to handle any toxic materials the supplies are minimal so definitely ease of use is one of the top five reasons I love oil pastels fourthly portability now when you're working with oil pastels all you need to start with is a paper a little heavy weight for um, that matter and oil pastels that's all you need to start with then you can add lots of other things in your portfolio to make your artwork better or you know help you in the process of art but that is all you need to start off with and imagine what kind of portability that gives you now say for plain air artists if you are an oil painter you have to carry so much stuff you have to carry solvents you have to carry mediums you have to carry brushes easels palette um, canvases or whatever surfaces you choose to work on but if you're a plain air artist and you choose to work with oil pastels all you need is your drawing book or whatever surface you're working on and your oil pastels and you're good to go so it is great for plain air people I love to take it on my travel trips when I don't want to take a lot of things I want minimal stuff supplies but I still can create artwork whenever I want to and you can just bring it out and start working so portability is great for this medium fifth but definitely not the smallest of the best parts of oil pastels is how inexpensive is it it is as a medium now anybody who is an artist or who is you know learning or hobbyist or whatever you are you know art supplies are expensive even student grade materials are not the cheapest ones and uh, oil pastels if you compare it with different other mediums are pretty inexpensive first of all you all you need is some good quality drawing paper and oil pastels and when you're beginning student grade uh, quality of oil pastels work great all my oil pastel work that I've created on my videos so far are all done with student grade oil pastels yes though are they are not light fast and yes they are not archival I get that and when you are an artist you want your works to be archival but when working with oil pastels my goal is not to sell those paintings or not to you know give those paintings to somebody make money out of them they are majorly done for the purpose of videos and all I do is sell sell prints of them which is obviously archival because of the prints and paper and ink used in prints not the oil pastels that I've used so works great student grade supplies works great 
and uh, they are not very expensive and even if you choose the artist quality oil pastels like say Sennelier or Mungio extra soft um, oil pastels which are light fast even then compared to other mediums uh, say for example oil paints or acrylics the because of just because of the number of supplies that are required oil pastels are still the cheapest of all mediums to work with so those were the five most important reasons why i love oil pastels i can keep talking about this for all day but i think top five would be good enough to start off with so definitely give this a thought whether you want to try oil pastels in different ways and i'll link all the other oil pastel videos in the video description for you to give an idea what you can achieve with oil pastels or what you can start off with or how to use oil pastels in general so different ways to use it so i'll link all that up and obviously i'll link all my social media there as well all materials are uh, linked in the video description that i've been using for uh, this Frida portrait so feel free to check those out and if you like this video and if you liked what I shared just now please leave a comment like the video and share my video because sharing is caring and if you're not already subscribed to uh, my channel consider subscribing thank you for watching